since April 2014, numerous peaceful demonstrations have been held or spearheaded by Bring Back Our Girls group following the adoption of 276 school girls in Chibok, Borno State. This public outcry is one of the activities to commemorate the fifth anniversary of the incident that sparked global outrage. The two-hour walk within the Falomo axis of Victoria Island ends under the Falomo flyover. Our children are outside there. They should plead. We are pleading. If I can leave that and beg them that we are pleading, they should please, in the name of God, they should bring out these girls with tears, with pain of heart, with heart full of tears. They should please bring these children. They should please, in the name of God, they should have mercy on the parents. We will not rest. We will continue to agitate. We will continue to sit out every Saturday. The efforts of the federal government resorted to the release of 103 of them, besides 57 others who managed to escape on their own shortly after the abduction and were found wandering the forest. The campaigners want the federal government to do more than just negotiating the release from captivity of the remaining 112 girls. To get the government to call, for example, the Chibok parents once a month is not too much. Just to encourage them that we're still looking out for your girls. But one thing that the government has done is that they've put in place the process for a missing persons register. So we're asking government, and they've done the um, groundwork on that, so we're asking them to fund the National Human Rights Commission in the 2019 budget so that they can start that process. So if someone gets missing in Lagos today, you can go to your local government to register the person missing, and if the person is found in Plateau or Joss tomorrow, there's a database that has that record. And please, that will be one positive thing out of this abduction, a realization that as a country, we don't have a way to track our citizens. The Bring Back Our Girls campaign is now a global movement as members of the international community continue to monitor the efforts of concerned institutions towards the release of the remaining 112 ladies.